missions is this. It is the task of the local church by which they send people into less reached nations to preach the gospel, plant churches, and train disciples into all righteousness until all the families of the earth give glory to God. Now, we're going to work with that definition and break it up bit by bit as we go through because every part of that is intentionally worded and derived from the Bible. So first of all, let us establish that in missions, it is ultimately God's mission. It is, the reason that there is a mission to do, the reason that there is a, 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 a theological, even practical basis for doing this thing that we call missions is because the God who has created us and sent his son into the world is a missionary God. We've looked every week. We've looked at preaching, at fellowship, at miracles, at providence, at persecution. There's another one, at evangelism. And the formal basis of all of those things in our practical theology is, in fact, that they represent the image of God and are found in his commandments. Our God is a preaching God. He is a God in triune fellowship. He is a sovereign God working through his providence. He is a working God who glorifies himself through miraculous things. He is a saving God, and so we do evangelism. He is a sending God, and therefore he is a missionary God. For he sent himself in the person of his own son to the world to redeem the world, and he is a God who accomplishes his mission of redemption in this world. He is a God with a mission. He is a God uh, uh, enacting out that mission. And he is a God who absolutely will accomplish his mission. Now we make a couple of distinctions. <coughs> God's mission, or what we call the mission of God, is to glorify himself by saving his people and reconciling all things to himself through the cross of his son. God's mission is to glorify himself by saving his people, reconciling all of the lost creation to himself through the cross of his son. And he accomplishes that through what theologians call many proximate actions and tasks. In other words, not this this is pretty obvious, but, but not everything that God does in reaching his mission is the mission itself. Right, We know this. God God slew the Canaanites. That does not mean that his big mission, the end goal in in, in the world, was in order to destroy the Canaanites or the Egyptians or things like that. Okay, He he has all sorts of proximate ends and tasks that he accomplishes on the way to establishing and accomplishing his ultimate purpose and mission. Then uh, uh, something that we distinguish from that is the mission of the church. God is on mission to reconcile all things through the blood of his son's cross to himself. The mission of the church flows from and participates in God's mission, but is not identical to God's mission. We are nowhere told, reconcile all things to the Father through the cross. It's just not quite the distinct thing we are commanded to do. What we are commanded to do Though it is in line with God's mission, it's an essential part of God's mission, it's an infallible part of God's mission, he will make sure we succeed, but it is this, to make disciples of people in every nation through the preaching of the gospel and establishing multiplying churches. That's our job. But, but we will do that poorly if we don't see that as, as integrated in and flowing out of the mission of God to, to reconcile all things to himself. And now we distinguish one more thing, and this is where we'll stick ourselves the rest of the day. Rest of the day, if you can bear it, or just the rest of the sermon, we'll see how we go. Is the definition of missions itself in the local church. What is missions and this is, is one of the ways that the church makes disciples in every nation. How do we make disciples in every nation? Through the preaching of the gospel and establishing planting churches. One of them, one of the very important ways, is our definition for this morning, that the local church sends people to, reach, to, to less reached nations where they preach the gospel, plant churches, and train disciples into all righteousness 
until all the families of the earth give glory to God.